Hey, what's up, guys? Tech for me, sorry, be here back from techfilmsmedia.com where we cover the latest tech news, gadget reviews, and much more. Today, I'm going to be doing an episode of Tech News Today, the weekly segment that tells you all the tech news in one weekly segment. Every Tuesday, we bring you the tech news of the week and we tell you what has been going on the week in the world of tech. Up this week, we have the Samsung Galaxy S5 being released and kind of not released but previewed at Mobile World Congress. A new Yoda phone, not Yoda, Yota, and we also have some Galaxy Gear updates, which Galaxy Gear got three new updates. So, this is Tech News Today, let's get started, rounding up all that tech news. <laughs> So welcome back guys for another week of Tech News Today. I'm your host Tech Chromies RB and to start off the week we have the Samsung Galaxy S5 being, being previewed at Mobile World Congress. Now Mobile World Congress is the yearly show where Samsung usually shows off some of their devices or sometimes they'll release them on their own. Now this year they decided to release the Galaxy S5 device handset as a hands-on so basically you can get a hands-on if you went to mobile world congress i didn't go of course but it brings a lot of new features and i'm going to tell you right now some of the features it's, it has a 5.1 inch display that is a 1920 by 1080 super display also with a 16 megapixel camera so they're trying to boost up there with nokia's 41 megapixel pure live view camera along with nokia features also, this bad boy is packing Android 4.4 KitKat out of the box, 3 gigabytes of RAM, and water and dust resistance. So, of course, this thing has a lot of internal specs that would beat other devices, but I think that Samsung Galaxy S5 made an epic change for the Galaxy S lineup ever since the first Galaxy S device has ever come out. So, wait in the future for the Samsung Galaxy S5, which will be rolling out right around May. In our next headline, we have the Yota phone. Now, when I say Yota phone, I don't mean Yoda, meaning little guy from Star Wars. No, I'm meaning Yota phone. The Russian company did release a new phone, or tried to, at Mobile World Congress, giving details of this new device, which is called the Yota Phone 2. So basically, what's happening is they made a phone with two displays. There's a one LCD display that is five inches. And on the back, you have a 4.7 inch paper white display. This is good for checking notifications without draining your battery and wasting a lot of your internal battery that you might need for emergencies or anything like that. It's good to have it. You can check notifications, run other things, you know, really cool. On the back, with that paper white display, the OS pretty much looks like Blackberry OS right now on the Blackberry Z10s and all the Blackberry devices. And also combined with iOS 7. I swear it looks like that. And it's very resembling. So maybe we might see this coming to the United States maybe one day. Maybe not. But soon it is going to be released in Russia. So if you're in Russia, good job. You're getting yourself a new Yota phone, which runs Android 4.4 KitKat. Thumbs up. And in our last headline, we have the Galaxy Gear being updated in three different versions. First, you have the Galaxy Gear 2, which is what they released at Mobile World Congress this year. Also, you have the Galaxy Gear Fit, which is basically for fitness. And if you're going to be running, you know, you want to use it as a little smartwatch, then you have the Galaxy Gear Neo. The, so all the devices have similar specifications. All of these have two megapixel cameras now instead of the 1.3 megapixel that came on the first Galaxy Gear, and they have support for the Galaxy S5. So, what I'm thinking is that the Galaxy Gear is going to take probably a turn at the best. Not turn for the worst. I don't know what you guys are thinking there. It's going to take a turn for the best whenever they're going to be releasing this because the Galaxy Gear Fit can be for people who love to run, jog, and they love to use the Galaxy Gear for like fitness, track how many steps you walk, and stuff like that. And while the Galaxy Gear Neo is just for people, you know, who can deal with the small screen but just want to use a small watch to check the display. And it's almost like a little pager. If you remember those old style pages, it's almost as thin as a freaking, it's almost as thin as a Hershey bar, which is pretty surprising to fit a device like that. But again, the Galaxy Gear is supposed to be working with the Galaxy S5 and Galaxy Note 3 currently right now. So I'm glad that they did that. 
Good job for you, Samsung. Good luck in your launch. And hopefully the Galaxy Gear, the three Galaxy, new Galaxy Gear that just got released right now, hopefully they will not be a downfall like the first Galaxy Gear was for over $300. <coughs> Samsung, wake up. Smell the coffee. Really. But then what's the next Galaxy Gear? Alright guys, thanks so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you like, please thumbs up the video and subscribe for more tech videos weekly on this. If you want to see behind the scenes week, make sure to go next week. It'll start on March 4th and end on March 7th. I'll be showing you how I do tech news today, Android Weekly, and Random Friday. And I'll show you how I edit on those and everything, what I put in with graphics, how I film. And uh, I'll have a secondary camera by then. And uh, soon, in summer, I'm going to be doing a new set setup tour. So, uh, yeah, that'll work. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoy. I'm Tech Thumbs Up.